Hello folks! Right now I'm editing this video using Magic's Video Deluxe 2026 software. But also, this is the first time I've used this tiny computer to edit my videos. My Dell computer has been working fine for years for editing, but it's almost got everything filled up, has Windows 10 Home, so I've decided to use it just for email. Also, my Dell experience says it's not capable of running Windows 11, so my PCmatic will at least keep it running since Microsoft's not going to provide much support for it after the end of the year. So I'm using this tiny GMK Tech for editing since it's faster and works better than expected. I mean, look what it's got. It's got the Intel N150 processor that works at 3.6 gigahertz. It's got 16 gigabyte of RAM. It's got a Windows 11 Pro. It's got a one terabyte solid state drive. It's got four USB 3.2 ports, the RJ45 2500 megahertz LAN port, two HDMI 2.0 ports, and a 3.5 audio jack port and an HDI mic port. Unbelievable in this little package. And that you can't get on your phone. I don't know why this intelligent design has not been utilized long before these mini computers came along. I built many, worked at Unisys Burroughs, large systems for the, which were the size of a gym with underground water cooling and only five megabyte of memory. And I ran my own computer repair shop for many years too. So all the computers I actually built, and I show a couple of them here, are dinosaurs with lots of wasted space, as you can see. I also have a Fusion tablet, and the specs on that are also terrible, and it's pretty slow. But it will run YouTube videos pretty good. I've also had all kinds of phones, all kinds of brands of phones. And like these, and those of you with smartphones, know that you can do anything with today's phones, just like your computer. And they're tiny. You know, I have an iPhone 14, and I've made almost all my short videos using it and the video up software. They are amazing, and they're even tinier than this GMT Keck computer, which only costs 209 bucks at Walmart. No, I'm not sponsored by anybody, especially not Walmart, and I always buy my stuff. So is this just another way you can clean up some space on your desktop? if you don't need any big stuff. Well, this has got to be the smallest computer that I ever had. Look at this. And I'm using this right now to switch my three computers so I can use the same mouse and everything. Come a little switch so you can switch back and forth. And you can see like here, if I want to go to the uh, other computer, I just switch the button like this. Look at that size difference. <laughs> it's amazing. I could set the whole thing right there. So this is my setup, and I have my wireless mic actually plugged into the wireless receiver on this giant computer. And uh, just to show you how fast this will open, let's go down here and open up Firefox, which I've put on there. And... So I'm very, very impressed. Let's open it up and see what's under the hood. This right here is the one terabyte digital hard drive. And this right here is the 16 gig RAM. I could uh, change that probably to 32 if I wanted to but uh, really don't need to. This thing's working great. Easy access, no uh, screws needed. That's it. <laughs> I love it, God. And on top of that, I got something now that I can see what Windows 11's all about. So now that I have it, I really don't see any big difference in Windows 11 anyway. It's pretty close to the same as it's always been. And so there you go, folks. And if this helps you make a decision on what you're going to do, I'd appreciate you give it a like and give us a subscribe because you never know what's coming next in Mr. Herbert's science class. This is Dave Herbert, the Knife Flyer, signing off till next.
next episode. Mm-hmm.